Hello my friends. Let me show you how I make zucchini chips. I'm using an inexpensive food dehydrator for these zucchini chips. I'm cutting these cukes, or not cukes, I'm cutting the zucchini about an eighth of an inch thickness. And laying them on the drying rack. If the zucchini is cut too thin, they will dry paper thin and you'll have difficulty removing them. They will be sticking to the drying rack. When these are done, they should be kind of like potato chips, a good snack. And I'm going to try to spice them up with some cayenne pepper. Single layer. Do it again. If you want to spice the chips or salt them, use uh, sea salt, and the time to do it is when you first slice them and the zucchini is still moist. And when it dries, it'll be sticking to the chip. This dehydrator will hold. Uh, four full-size zucchinis uh, and will dry them overnight. I used to take these dried in my lunch and snack on them like I would chips. Once these are dry, they can be stored. I store things in paper bags so that they don't trap moisture. They could be stored in a sealed container if they're extra dry. But they can be used, reconstituted in soups. I use zucchini a lot in soups. And I do the same with mushrooms. Um, if I see them on sale in the store, I'll buy a bunch and then just go home and dry them and uh, use them dried. I used to mushroom hunt with my aunt when she was living. She was very knowledgeable in mushrooms. And she never ate mushrooms unless they were dried. There's only a certain type, so I guess everybody has their likes and dislikes. Here we are the next morning and you can see here that the zucchini has dried super crisp. I'm storing these chips in a wide mouth quart mason jar and uh, it's not uh, vacuum. I plan on using these right away either as a snack or in a soup. But for a long-term storage, often what I do is I use Mylar bags with a, a oxygen or moisture absorbing desiccant in the bag and I do a vacuum seal on the bags. Uh, stored this way, these chips could last uh, quite a few years. Um, possibly 25 to 30 years if uh, stored properly. The slices that were cut too thin, you can see here, uh, it's impossible for me to remove them off the drying rack. And what I'll have to do is just soak them in the sink and remove it that way. Um, here, this uh, mason jar is holding four full-grown zucchinis. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.